plant my raspberries along here, fill this with something. I don't know, maybe I'll make a walkway or something. blustery day today. It started out kind of cold and it's still, well it's kind of cold still, <laughs> uh, but I wanted to get something done outside. And we've got some raspberry starts that we just bought. I'm not going to put them in the in the planter, in the raised bed, um, even though I'm, I'm out here, but I'm going to plant them on the other side of the raised bed. You can see it down there. So first things first, I've got to clear out a space. <laughs> Looks intimidated. You're probably wondering where I'm putting all this stuff. So there are all kinds of piles over here. Yeah, I'm not really fixing a problem. I'm just moving it. Kind of like sweeping sweeping dirt under the rug but where i need to use this space right now i'm going to defer the junk to a junk pile at least there it's consolidated and we'll deal with it later as we have time <laughs> Do you guys hear that clicking There's a short in the electric fence. Got to fix that. Just unplug that for a second. I know that this is the problem right here. I wrapped this wire around it, hoping to hold it still and make it not short out, but I think it is actually shorting through the wire. So I'm just going to mess with that for a second. <laughs> Okay, I'll turn on the uh, transformer and see if that worked. Back into the shed. No clicks. Yeah, okay, we're good. Back to gardening. <laughs> Yay, Alex came to help. <laughs> it's kind of cold. That was fun. That was very helpful of me. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> tires and wheels and car batteries yeah and this shed is full of tools yeah that is pretty cool awesome hummingbird that she did. Cool. <laughs> Can I show your other one too? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we were just discussing how it'd be cool to make her room have that. Like one, like all walls, like three walls would be one color and then one would be like crazy design like this. <laughs> 
crazy colors too? Yeah. That'd it's kind of be fun. Kinda cool. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> so I've got the trash cleaned up and all this vinyl and PVC cleaned up. So now's the fun part. I get to start digging. I'm doing the double dig method. Basically the way you do it is you dig a trench about one shovel depth. And you put all the, uh, the backfill in a pile next to it. Then as you're digging the second row parallel to it, you mix that fill 50-50 with organic matter and compost. You continue on down the row until you're, till you're done. And on the very last row, you take your fill dirt from the first row, or the first trench, and finally mix it into your last hole <laughs> with, with compost. I'm going to go get it, a wheelbarrow full of compost. Right, I'm actually going to modify my method a little bit. As I've been digging here, uh, the lower I get on the slope here, at the bottom of the slope, I'm actually getting um, standing water at the bottom of my, um, my trench. So to avoid future problems, so I'm going to mix some stuff down here with compost, mix the dirt with compost, bring it up there, mix that all with compost as well. Just raise that level up, plant my raspberries along here, fill this with something. I don't know, maybe I'll make a walkway or something. I'll figure it out as I go. <laughs> that tends to be the way I do things. Okay. I've, I've dug a trench um, roughly matching up with um, where, where these raised beds are. So this will come straight across. So it'll be um, easy to walk down here. So I've modified it yet again. Instead of backfilling it this with the same dirt that I put in. I think I'm just gonna go really, really hardcore on the organic matter and see if I can just almost make it like potting soil. It's gonna be a little bit more labor intensive, but every hour I spend on this now and making it really good is going to save me hours and hours and days, maybe in the long run. So one bag of peat moss is about twelve or thirteen dollars. Look at this view for a minute. This is the secret ingredient. You can tell how alive soil is just by its smell. This has the smell of a forest floor and also the very distinct aroma of mushroom spores essentially. If you have mushrooms in your garden, chances are you have really good soil. Okay, I'm also going to add a little bit of azomite, which is just a mineral supplement. All right. Well, the sun is about two minutes from setting completely, but I just wanted to show you the final result. So this pile here on this half 
is what came out of there. So it used to be about 95% sand. Maybe 5% organic matter and other stuff. Um, including garbage. <laughs> now this is approximately 98% organic matter. And it smells amazing. It looks amazing. It's super soft, super spongy. And not only that, but I have a higher ground level than I did before. I've got a berm. Uh, I'm really happy about it. Yeah, there goes the sun. But um, I've only got 10 raspberry plants. I might as well stick them in. But uh, <laughs> thanks for watching. I'm really happy with the work that got done today. I'll see you tomorrow when we do some more work. Bye-bye.